All right, welcome back, everybody. Nice showdown between Class 3A board and Class 2A troop. To Tiger Stadium we go for this one, and I love the small school matchups, and we got just a man to give us the highlights. Desmond Nugent, take it away. That's right, Eric. With the winners record last season, the Troop Tigers and fans definitely have something to cheer about. They're undefeated this year. And did I forget to mention tonight's homecoming? The score is tied up 7-7, mid-first quarter. Bullard's Colt Maybank hand off to Tanner Smith, and he dives it in for the touchdown. 14-7 Bullard. More Panthers. Maybank throws to Jess Wood. 12-yard gain. Bullard only settling for a field goal. 17-7 Bullard. Panthers pulling away early second quarter. Maybank gives it to Houston Alexander and pounds it in for the touchdown. 24-7 Bullard. But those Tigers are not out of it just yet. James Gills looks like he could go only to the 50-yard line. A couple of plays later, Brock Grisby hands off to Marcus Davis, runs over defender for the touchdown, 14-24 Bullard. 52 seconds left in the half, fourth and long, Grisby looking, looking, throws it to Gills, it's caught, and he takes it in for the touchdown, 22-24 at the half. Fans on their feet. Eric, Tigers looking to go 4-0. Update us, Eric. Oh, certainly will, and they don't. Bullard with the big road win tonight, 38-34. to Thank you, Desmond. All right, battle of the Bears tonight in Brownsboro. Gladewater in town, and Gladewater had the uh, put on a rushing clinic tonight, especially Darian Gregory. Look at him go up the right side. Almost takes it in, but Brownsboro, good job of hustling by number 12 there to get him out of bounds. And no touchdown there, but Charles Gordon does get in. 7 to nothing. Gladewater Bears. Uh, Shelby Ross trying to get something done for the Brownsboro Bears. And he's got a heck of a wide receiver as he's going to drop back here in the shotgun formation. A little fake. Goes to his left and comes back to his right. Fires across his body to Roderick Thompson. Moved the sticks, but they would not score on the drive. Derek Daniels, the quarterback for the Gladewater Bears. What a great player he is. He fakes out everybody, goes right up the gut. Look at him break out a tackle right there. Comes up the right side. Can he get to the end zone? Not quite, but he does have this other guy, Darian Gregory, who had a monster night. We'll get his stats in just a second from Clay Allo as Gregory is going to take it on the next possession up in the end zone for a score 40, 46 to 7. We'll wipe it action right there. It's okay. Big win for Gladewater. We do have Clay Allo on the phone. Clay, this rushing attack by the Gladewater Bears, especially from Derrick Gregory, outstanding tonight. He was outstanding. 220 yards on just 18 carries as, as Gladewater ran for a total of 613 yards. Also, Charles Gordon ran for 190 yards as well as Gladewater literally ran all over Brownsboro. Uh, when you look at Gladewater, a uh, team that's right on that tough 3A uh, uh, district there, they have a shot for the playoffs. This definitely is a good springboard, right, Clay? Uh, if they run like they did tonight, they should have no problem. They, they had a great running attack, most of the time right up the middle, but Gregory and Gordon uh, had, had plenty of time to, to, to make a run, hit a hole, and, and also broke a lot of tackles as well. But if, if they keep that up, they should have no problem making the playoffs. All right, thank you, Clay. Great job there. Former intern at CBS 19, now a sports writer for the Tyler Paper. want to mention that Henderson looked great tonight, 51-15. Big win for them. What would Lindell do? Trying to stay unbeaten as well tonight. They were taking on Kaufman on the road. The Lindell Eagles, do we got that score? No, we don't. But Lindell did win big, 49-31. So big wins for the Lions and the Eagles. All right, Chase Colston. Joining us now with uh, our Chase is going to be stepping in in just a moment. Right now we want to mention a couple other scores for you. Let's go to 3A scores, Chad and Scotty, if we can. And then we'll round up Clay, uh, Chase Colson there. Van, big win, 36-7. Gilmer, tough one, but they get it done on the road to Liberty Ilo, 21-7. Palestine and Maybank, how about Palestine, 35-31. Canton, they're going to play tomorrow. Had some lightning problems tonight. So Canton evaded community tomorrow. Athens shuts out. Uh, Wills Point 34 to nothing. And then Spring Hill losing to Boston tonight 28 to 7. One more page of scores for you. Pittsburgh all over Atlanta 28 to 7. Rusk falls to Fairfield 21 to 7. 
All right, now we've got Chase Colson in with us, joining us from the Tyler Paper headquarters, also the producer of the ETFinalScore.com football show. Chase, you're running around a lot like we are tonight. We finally catch up to you. Kind of give us a scoop on week three. Well, Eric, there haven't really been a whole lot of surprises tonight. I mean, a lot of, a lot of close games and a uh, big story out in uh, Chapel Hill again that Clint said with another injury to Avery Henderson. And, uh, you know, Lee had it close tonight, and there was a big close game in Troop and Bullard and, and games like that. I was surprised by a lot of close games, and then you still got a lot of teams that are still uh, just, um, you know, making a name for themselves and really showing just how good they are early on, like Gladewater. Yeah, Chase, we, of course, talked on Wednesday. This is kind of the week, you know, the fourth Friday of the season. You really can kind of separate average and pretty good football teams. I think Mineola approved tonight. They're a pretty good football team. What a comeback for them. Oh, they are. And, you know, that uh, their, their district game against Melissa, um, when they get their uh, in-district play, is going to be a, a big game. It's going to be what's going to determine the district champion in that district. And Mineola is a team that – uh, hasn't really experienced this in such a long time, and uh, they're a team that you could easily see go three, four, maybe even farther rounds in the playoffs. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll give you more of a heads up next time we get you on here next break. I know we're all scrambling to get our shows up. We'll see you in just a minute. We, right now, are going to take a break. More highlights and scores coming up. <laughs> 